G'day, this is Captain Ubin. This is a bloodied 50 cal machine gun with bullets exploding for area damage as a secondary legendary effect. Someone requested for me to use this thing and I thought, good idea, I haven't looked at the uh, 50 cal in quite a while. I haven't even used these things in quite a while. It was all light machine guns and explosive Gatling plasmas after the patch, but does the old 50 cal still have it in it? We'll soon find out, I guess. We're getting 58 damage, that's at full health with none of the perks applied. I've got a couple of other guns just so... We can, uh, I guess, compare. So this is a fire rate bloodied thing, and you'll see that I'm getting 10 more damage out of the explosives, which I guess is helpful. Compared to the light machine gun, we're out damaging that a little bit. In fact, the, uh, hmm, that's interesting. The, uh, 50 cal has a higher per shot damage. Uh, I guess this thing will smash it in DPS, though, because of the rate of fire. And I got a grenade launcher, too. It's pretty neat, I guess. Anyways, hey, let's just put some perks on and you'll find that if you chuck on heavy gunner your damage will go up i don't know how that works but it just it just seems to work probably because it looks like a heavy gun the, the keyword attached to it or something is a weapon of that class uh, we've got all the gunners on we've got demo expert on we've got the bloody mess perk on got a couple of things for defense like ricochet could swap that out for uh, the uh, one gun army perk just for crippling and uh, staggering, which if you do stagger, uh, cripple someone, they generally stagger as well, so it's a very good chance to stagger. But I think we might have the DPS to uh, not have to worry about that. We're going to be utilizing power armor, so stabilized is a must. that will keep us nice and accurate, and if we want to use VATs, we've got a couple of things here to make it worthwhile. But basically, perception is as high as it can be. As it is because I like using shotguns in VAT sometimes. And yeah, I think that's kind of it. The legendary perks. There's nothing too much in here that is uh, all that great. That's nice for keeping me alive. But a lot of these perks I've just chucked in so I could, you know, chuck more perk cards on here. That's what the legendary perks are all about. More of the, the basic non-legendary perks. And now we're getting 106 damage. Interesting. Okay, so we're standing here in power armor now. This is the power armor from last season. It appears to be T60 with extra plating here and there, so that's kind of cool, I guess. And now with the bloodied explosive light machine gun, or 50 cal machine gun, heavy machine gun would work, I think. Uh, doing 192 damage, which is almost double the damage, which is nice. Something to do with explosive stuff still being multiplicative, I guess. Okay, so here we are in Santa's Toy Factory in the, uh, somewhere in the North Pole. The snow isn't here because of global warming, but what the elves have done here is, uh, they've gotten into the FEV and now they're all giant green abomination dudes. And also, if you ever use these things and get in power armor, unequip and re-equip the weapon, and then you'll get the right amount of, uh, reload speed when you go ahead and reload them. And damn, this thing is super accurate. I'm going to shoot that ragdoll because that amuses me. Oh my god, he fell into little bits. That's awesome. <laughs> right. So, the, shut up, Snapchat. Phone go away now. Now we're going to kill all these super mutants as easy as this now. That's a legendary dead dogger. He gave me a boxing glove. It's good at punching Scorched. But, look, I know we've been spamming cop emojis a lot, but I think we're going to have to do it again because this is some highly illegal DPS here. In fact, I might get reported from Bethesda. This is the third consecutive day where I'm doing way too much damage for the game to calculate, and I think the whole servers are crushing. They're breaking under the pressure of the damage numbers that is coming out, and the servers themselves are just forming into black holes and imploding under the massive weight of the numbers that I'm able to push out of this game with my builds and my guns. Look, it does alright. Um, back when you used to get multiplicative damage, it would definitely one-shot everything, but I think I'm slowly getting used to this new shitty damage model to the point where I can say, hey, this thing's pretty good, but I will not say no to a time to kill like this, especially when, unlike the uh, light machine gun, you're not going to be firing... 50 bullets if you hold down the trigger for two seconds, so this is a little bit more conservative on, an, on ammunition, which I think is a good thing, and having that higher shot uh, per shot damage means you won't have to use as much ammo, so spec into your guns, you don't have to farm as long. Okay, let's get some uh, third person action here, and um, so what have I been doing? If you happen to catch me yesterday, or it'd be two days ago when this video gets posted, I have, uh, I was invited to the uh, Chad stream for Hope, and I did a speed run of Fallout 4. 
with uh, Moonlit Charlie tier and Nero Lux, and I won. Spoiler alert, I won. But not because I'm like super skilled or superior in any way. I mean, Tier was right near me, but then he's Preston bugged out, and then he, you know, that kind of took him out of the race, and I was just steaming ahead. So that was that was fun. Maybe not for them. And Nero Lux's power went out. It was a very. Uh, Oh, really? I don't want this. I wonder if mutants is still multiplicative. If it is, then that's illegal. Also, I'd like it to get off of my screen, please. I might have to actually exit my power armor here. Or, you know what? Screw it. I'll pick that up later. But I don't like not being able to move around. And we'll do this in this order this time. Cheeky proc of... Uh, of... Uh, <laughs> Ricochet there. I got thrown off because the super mutant fell to pieces and caused me so weak before screaming an agonizingly painful death. The super mutants in this place do have a habit of doing that. Also, I have not done a single challenge yet. I think all of the things that I've been getting are uh, due to having the XP threshold being opened up. I think there's a doggo right next to me. I think we could ignore that for now until we use a jetpack. Yeah, my power arm is legacy. That's another thing that I could be sent to Bethesda jail for. Alright, so even though these things are explosive, don't get carried away with shooting at the ground because they will do a lot more damage. Think of it as a nice thing if enemies are standing near it. And as I said that, I, you just saw a demonstration of that. So don't use explosives as a lazy aim changing thing. Unless you're using legacies, which I don't know, the damage on those must be calculated slightly differently because you can get away with just spamming the explosions. Especially for a scatter shot thing. Has that guy got a minigun? Yes, he does. I want those bullets. I want those lucky charms. And we're almost done here. I'm being attacked by a plant. Oh no, there he is. Am I blind? I swear, my screen in this is... I mean, it's a great screen because you get 300 hertz, which is massive, but I don't know what's with, wrong with it. The The screen on my tight, which is the computer I was using last night, is so much easier to see stuff. I might need to tweak the settings a little bit and change how uh, colors and shit is showing because I, I feel like I'm blind using this thing sometimes. Uh, maybe I just haven't gotten used to it yet, but... You can always change settings with these computers, so it's fine. Okay, let's give these ghouls an old-fashioned hold-down-the-choke-point run here. So, we'll ignore those. And also, I didn't remember to pick up the uh, mutants at the Ultrasight Gatling laser. I guess it's notable that it's an Ultrasight Gatling laser dropping rather than a, a basic one, so that's good. Also, I think if we hit them with the poison damage over time that's just around us, I think we aggro them, so all of the ghouls down... And the lower floors might have been pulled from that as well. And let the massacre begin. Tell you what, making some good use out of these random explosion perks. That's very nice. See, there are synergies with them, I suppose. But, you know, it's not really damage you can count on. When I spec into things, I'm aiming higher than random ghouls in a thing. Because we don't struggle against these guys. At least, not when our weapon is good. But, you know, the ones you want to be able to do decent damage on, like Earl and the Scorch Beast Queen. Yeah, whatever, do your worst, school. Well, having that explosion doesn't really apply there, so that's why I've put them all on the back burner. Could have potentially, uh... I don't, I don't rate them as useful as some other people do, but it's a, definitely a nice thing to have. 13% is, you know, it's not exactly 1 in 6, it may be, maybe... 1 in 6.5 or something. I don't know. Can't calculate the probability off the top of my head, but it's it's a decent enough thing when it goes off every now and then. Especially since that kind of synergizes with the explosive bullets as they are already, because uh, well, I'm already throwing damage around, and if they're all crowded, they're going to take that extra damage, and that's just going to add extra damage to the damage I'm getting. Stupid ghoul, you go squish now. Look at these lazy ghouls, they don't even get up and attack me. Come on, I aggroed you by by giving you poison damage over time. That should be more than enough aggro to get you up and about. 
Okay, so this might be the last time I'll have Ricochet on during this video because what I've got next is crabs and what I think I'll do against those guys instead of, you know, defending myself from any incoming bullets that might show up. Like these turds who are obviously playing with the server lag because what is this? You know what? I always struggle here for some reason. There's something wrong with this place and here's a, here's a little bit of a demonstration of what happens when you don't get direct hits you lose your ammo and did that dog just run off the cliff and kill itself and i got the xp for it because i'm pretty sure that's what happened that's dark Jeez, what were the blood eagles doing to the dogs to make them do that uh probably treating them like white girls uh, they do horrible horrible things to dogs oh wait no it's back it's fine Alright, so that lot has been dealt with, and what I might do is just hot swap it right now, because, like I was talking about before, generally when you cripple stuff, they do a little animation, they're staggered, they're defenseless for a bit. And I want to shoot the Milo clean in the spout, so that'll be a, an effective use of that, I suppose. And if we're hitting them twice with both the bullets and the explosion, although, uh, god, the fucking explosion thing is bugged out, isn't it? Uh, well, it didn't seem to go too badly there, but he's a big hitbox, so sometimes it is. People say, aim for the chest or the legs. Fuck off. Why would I want to do less damage than possible, huh? Why would I? Answer my question, voice in my head. Okay, there's a Mylurk King. Let's just uh, deal with his uh, problem, or this problem of ours, as quickly as we can. All right, there's one down. These giant crabs, they kind of run straight at you. Easy. The uh, Mylar Kings are the ones I'm worried about because they kind of hide around in the foliage. See? No, it's super easy to hit. Also, I'm seeing some rubber banding of the health bars, which is always fun to see. It's always nice to experience that. And... Where the bloody hell are you going, mate? There we go. Finally got him. And I was just randomly... Uh, just hammering the trigger just to make sure my uh, deviation doesn't go too far out because you can kind of control the spread like that there seems to be like a little bit of a reset you can do and i don't know if you can click it faster than you could possibly rate it, hit the rate of fire i don't think that's gonna, how it works but you know for the longer range shooting even with stabilize it's not going to be super accurate sometimes so sometimes it's best just to do that anyways the my Lurk queen is out let's target the spouts I did a whole lot of nothing. And we'll jump around like a kangaroo on a barbecue. Because she does the acid spit and it probably kill me in one shot. And that's not good. Big epic battle, right? Because I'm feeling it with 125 bullets. Something like that. Maybe a little bit less, but it seemed to drain half the mag from it. I mean, for a DPS test, sure, but ugh, it's just a slog. Okay, this is kind of unrelated as the reason I'm using this weapon, but I was just thinking the other day on uh, how Bethesda presents itself with its weapons and what they can do, because I feel like a 50 cal could probably kill a Scorched Beast Queen as easily as you'd think it would, and oh, they're, they're doing this holiday gift stuff again. That's cool. Can't wait for them to be all duped. Was that a suppressor or something? Oh, look, there's another one. Plenty of... Plenty of these. Definitely not immersion breaking seeing them dressed in Christmas stuff at this time of year. It's fine. Leave it alone. So I've still got Dodgy on, which I'm going to, you know, take bullets from everywhere. And that's definitely not helping either, because now I can't even see. It's bad enough with this monitor already. But anyways, let's just... Oh, I got the Blight somehow. That's probably why I was over capacity before. Right now, actually. Even better. Let's just eat some purified waters and try to chug that weight off. So again, uh, the usual complaints come in here. The Scorched Beasts are just completely fucking immune to any explosives because their force of will. I guess we'll just stand here because I'm completely over capacity now. And there's another enemy just running off. I don't know what's going on with the AI in this game sometimes. Now it's, we can't even bother shooting him because he's spraying that at us. So we haven't done a we haven't had a really smooth run here, but it's still doing okay. I'm being shot at by 
more scorched over there. They haven't decided to move closer, which, you know, that's fine. We can easily outrange them. There's Mr. Punchy. He'll he'll kick my ass if I'm not lucky. And I gotta make sure I'm far away enough from these enemies where they won't kill me. No staggering for me in power armor when you do that, mate. There we go. So, it's been a pretty chaotic run, but we haven't died yet. We're keeping on top of it. I have been, you know, tacitly utilizing purified waters, and there's a stim pack. I was meant to hit the one key, but whatever. So, it's not like this thing is underpowered, it's just that... <laughs> no, this is not something that I test whether this thing's... Whether this weapon is good when you're over capacity, and, you know, that's something that you could maybe think about if you're looting everything. We'll keep on going anyway. I just hate this slow-moving nonsense, you know? Oh, well, I'd rather that than not being able to move at all, right? I have to go into my inventory and drop something. Although the... The... Pain in the ass would have been over by now if I decided to do that. I didn't even pick up anything either. Unless it was something to do with what I grabbed from this one. Anyways, regardless of that, shoot this guy. You can see the health bar teleporting up, so something is not working right here. But regardless of all that and my inability to manage my weight properly, thanks not being able to use... There we go. Not being able to use... Uh, uh, backpacks in power armor. Um, that's really helpful. Just make everyone have calibrated shocks, why don't you? And they did. Um, it's been a pretty good run. I still think this thing has a lot of power, and whether this thing has, does better than the uh, fire rate version, I guess we might have to test later on. I still might back this for DPS against Scorch Beast, but this is definitely a very strong weapon, and I was hitting stuff most of the time without the use of... Uh, using the explosive bullets anyway, so, you know, I think accuracy has a lot to do with how these weapons perform, but I think a lot of people just turn their brains off and just explode the ground around things, but that's definitely not the way to do it. So, there you have it, Blade Explosive 50 cal Machine Gun. Good weapon, get one, maybe. Don't buy it with real money. If you feed the RMT machine, I'll come to your house and break your legs and, and kill your cat or something. Thank you very much for watching, guys.